What's up, guys? Kevin here from Sportsbox Breaks coming at you live Sunday night, uh, September 3rd, 2017. I am breaking 2017 Tops Definitive Baseball Hit Draft number five. The way these hit drafts are done, guys, they're not choose team. You buy a spot in the break, then we run your names through random.org to determine the draft order. So I have random.org on screen, and I've got the uh, list of eight participants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is the order in which the sales came in, is how they're put into the random list setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the dice. That's going to determine how many times we randomize up that list. If the list uh, dice comes up at two, we will randomize the list three times. That's our one caveat, just to get a more true random on those uh, on those names. So here we go. Dice roll coming up. Dice roll is a nine. Five and four is nine. Here we go. Nine times on the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine times. There it is, guys. Carlos gets first pick. Then Martin then Melissa, then Don P, Andrew, Andrew again, and then Christopher gets the last two picks. So that is the random.org determining right there. So that is it. Again, nine times on that, and that was based off of this number, five and four equals nine on the dice roll. So let me copy these over into the spreadsheet. Copying those over into my sheet, taking that off screen just for a moment. And here, is the sheet let me get these in an actual big size for you guys can see them 18 let me even bold them up a little bit so you can see them a little better so there it is guys again pick number one goes to carlos pick number two goes to martin pick number three goes to melissa number four goes to don p numbers five and six go to andrew and numbers seven and eight go to christopher k all right guys let me bring random.org back up again real quick and again the reason i'm doing that is because i have two remaining boxes out of that sealed case and if you remember from the first one i marked the boxes one two and three the two box came up when i ran the uh, random the first time so we have boxes one and three remaining so i am going to use random.org one more time to determine which box we go with for this one and then by default the final one is going to be the final box so here we go random.org on screen one more time we're using the same dice number which is a nine and again there it is just the number one and the number three nine times here we go one two three four five six seven eight and the ninth time it is so nine times on that, and the number three box comes up in the top slot as of the ninth. So again, nine times, the number three, and there's the dice to show that we were doing it nine times. So the number three box it is, guys. Number three box it is. Taking that off, taking that off, this is it. So the number one box is going to be the final hit draft, which is break number six, hit draft number six. So here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Hit draft number five right now. Good luck. Well, good luck on the box being a good one, that is. So we have our paper on top. There we go. We got an empty box right there. All right, here we go, guys. Keep, uh, keep an eye on these cards as they're coming out because I will be calling on you pretty soon to make your selections. So the first card coming up, let me get a focus, is a Moncada Auto, 36 out of 50. 36 out of 50 definitive rookie auto, White Sox. So 36 out of 50 on that one. Put that in a sleeve. Second one right now might have to try out this hit draft stuff and focus on football check this out check that patch out six out of ten on this one miguel sano for the twins autograph relic card what a patch right one two three four not too shabby second card off there is a frame in there i see it so there's the second card. Third card, here he is, Canseco. 
We talk about Conseco all the time. Tanner, the Conseco super fan, if you're out there, buy into some brakes, buddy. 35 out of 40 on the Conseco. Big piece of bat relic going on there. Definitive autograph relic card, Conseco, Oakland. Sleeving that guy up. Here's the frame. Check it out. 25 out of 25. John Smoltz. Framed autograph. 25 out of 25. John Smoltz for the Braves. I'll show you guys again once I get through them. So the Smoltz, 25 out of 25. Check this guy out. You don't see him too often. How about a Wade Boggs? Wade Boggs, Boston Red Sox, 85 to 96. What was Wade Boggs really known for? Wasn't he like a, like a badass? Wasn't he like a fighter or something? <clears throat> Can't remember what, uh, he was kind of infamous for something in the league at that time. Wade Boggs, 25 out of 25. Next one, check this out. Check this out. A little duel again. Dual relic, dual auto, number to 25. Oh, it's all good, Kerry. I, I like the fact that he's that into it. 9 of 25 on that one. Gonzalez Rodriguez, two Rangers, Rangers times two. Yeah, Canseco just shows up so often that every time he shows up, I immediately think of Tanner. Nine of 25 on this one, guys. Very nice. Nine of 25, Bat Relic on top. Next up, we got the two patch cards, which finish off the stack here. 13 out of 50, Brandon Phillips, Cincinnati Reds. So the Reds, 13 out of 50. Brandon Phillips, Jumbo Patch Relic. Sleeving that guy up. And the last one, that's actually a pretty sick patch right there. McCutcheon again shows up two boxes in a row. 26 out of 30. 26 out of 30 on this one, Jumbo Patch Relic. 26 out of 30. Let me sleeve that guy up. All right, guys, here we go. It's pick time. Carlos is up first. Carlos is up for, for free mustache. <laughs> I saw your message over there, Ryan. That's great. So, Carlos, you are up, sir. Carlos is up first. And uh, Carrie O over on the breaker side is saying whoever picks that uh, Sano card should reach out to him about buying it. So there's a potential sale in the work there if you guys are uh, looking to broker a deal. Yeah, the first card, going back to that question, let me pull that guy back up into view for you. You had, this was the first card up. It was the 36 of 50 auto. The saddle card, yep, you sure can, buddy. You sure can. So there it is. Six of ten. Six of ten on that one. So what do you say, Carlos? I'll br gladly bring any of the other ones up into view if you'd like to see them. Yep, the Smoltz, you sure can. 
The Smoltz framed auto is a 25 out of 25. 25 out of 25. There is that. So he doesn't do brakes carry. Tanner. The Sano it is. All right, all right. So Carlos. Carlos is taking as his first pick the 6 of 10 autograph relic. So there it is. The number one pick is off the board. The Sano to 10. All right, Martinell. Martinell is up. Martinell. Choice number two coming up right now. And the rest of the uh, participants, if you're hanging out, waiting in the wings, just kind of have somewhat of a selection ready if you could. So we can, I'll gladly pull them back up into the camera and show you. The Smoltz Martin, yep, you sure can, buddy. There it is, 25 out of 25. 25 out of 25 on that one, framed auto. Here is the, just to keep showing a couple extras so you guys can get a little, here's the Wade Boggs, 25 out of 25 on the Wade Boggs. You got the dual here. That's also the 25, Texas Rangers dual. You got the Moncada to 50. You got Mr. Conseco, 35 out of 40 on the Conseco. You got the two patch cards. You got the Phillips. And you got the McCutcheon. And guys, I know trades typically don't happen in these hit drafts because really what is there to trade? Your, your order is determined already, but in a situation like these, potentially you could trade, like if somebody had uh, final two picks and wanted to trade up for you know, one of the higher picks, you're certainly welcome to do that. It's amongst yourselves if you want to do it, but I'm just tossing that out there because I didn't mention it in the previous hit drafts, but it doesn't happen very often. Excellent, excellent. So the next one is sold out. Very good. All right, guys. I think the next one is going to be going off right after we finish here. So the final box. So the second case of the night sold out. We got our we got our momentum late tonight, but I'll take it. That's okay. So Martinell, what do you say, bud? Hey, Jeremy T. What's up, buddy? Martinell, Martinell, I know you're mulling over the decision, but the other folks are probably, uh... all right, Martin is saying the Smoltz, the John Smoltz, the 25, 25 out of 25 framed auto is going to be the second pick. And that's going to be going to Martin. So let me mark that up here. Okay, Melissa. Melissa is up. Melissa is up. What do you say, Melissa? And if you want to see any of them brought back up into the camera, I'll gladly do that for you. The dual auto, please. Yep, you sure can see that. So the Gonzalez Rodriguez dual. Show it to you. Try to get it to focus there. Nine of 25. Nine 
9 of 25 on that one. You're going to go with that one. All right, Melissa is going with the dual. Melissa is going with the, the dual Texas Rangers. So the Rangers dual is off the board. So the Rangers dual auto relic off the board going to Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Don P. Don P is up. What do you say, Don? I'll show you any of the ones you want to see. Don P. Yep, the Moncada, sure. You sure can, bud. So there is the Moncada to 50, 36 out of 50, which was the first card pulled out of the box. Here is the Wade Boggs, 25 of 25. Canseco, 35 out of 40. McCutcheon Patch to 30. And Brandon Phillips to 50. And guys, if you're hanging out, if you're watching our channel, even if you're not involved in this break, do make sure to hit the follow button. If you're, if you're not following us on Breakers or uh, Twitch, please do us a favor and hit that follow button, guys. So, Andrew, be at the ready if you could next, sir. All right, Don P is going to go with the uh, Moncada to 50. So, the Moncada to 50 is going to be off the board, 36 out of 50. There you go, Don. <clears throat> okay, Andrew H. is up for the next two. Andrew. Andrew is calling out for the Wade Boggs. So that is going to be your uh, choice number five for the Wade Boggs, confirmed. So the Boggs, 25 out of 25. Wade Boggs, 25 out of 25. And you want to see the Conseco? Yep, you sure can see that. The Conseco is right there. 35 out of 40, Bat Relic, Auto. So, Andrew, if you just want to confirm, the Boggs is, in fact, going to be your, uh, your pick number five, correct? I'll mark that for you right now, if that is confirmed from you. All right, so the Boggs is the number five, so that one's off. I'll put that off to the side. And you got the Conseco as your option. You have the McCutcheon to 30. Or you have the Brandon Phillips to 50. And Andrew, if you want to, and the McCutcheon. So you want to go with the McCutcheon for your, uh, your selection number six? If you want to just confirm that in the chat, please. Okay, you got it. So McCutcheon is the next one. And Chris K, you're going to get the final two by default, just based on the way the draft selection kind of worked out. So you're going to get the Conseco to 40. I'll mark that for you right now. So the Conseco to 40 is going to Chris. And then the final card is the Brandon Phillips to 50 going to Chris as well. All 
All right, there it is, guys. That's the full list, and that's the way it all shook out, and that's the way everybody picked, so that is it. Uh, thanks again for getting this one filled up. The next one, from what I understand, is already filled, so we're going to be doing break number six in just a couple of minutes, so hang tight. Thanks again, guys.